The study suggests that the plane may have entered the water at an angle of close to 90 degrees, with the large, heavy portions of the plane, notably the wings, breaking off on impact. This model suggests the plane sank belly up, with the fuselage intact and minimal creation and spread of debris. The heavier portions of the plane sank directly to the bottom of the ocean. The team, led by Professor Gong Chen at Texas A&M University in Qatar, ran five different landing scenarios, including one replicating the Miracle on the Hudson landing in 2009. Chen considered the Hudson glide ditching approach an unlikely outcome given the higher rate of survivability and creation of larger debris fields on failure. The flat landing was ruled out as it would have caused the plane to bounce, breaking up the fuselage and creating a wide path of debris and oil. Chen's team also dismissed a less dramatic nose-first diving entry, as the stress placed on the plane by impact would also have ruptured large sections of the plane. 